Hi, welcome back to a Punishing Grey Raven video. My name is Lace and today I want to talk about, I suppose, the second half of CBT. In the first half, I covered a lot of things, pretty much the entire game, but like I couldn't get to a couple of the different like modes, I suppose, especially these ones in Challenge War. So as you guys can see, I've unlocked Memory Rescue, Warzone, Phantom Pain, Cage, and I just wanted to run through a couple of things, actually a lot of things that I did miss in the first run through. If you guys haven't checked out my first PGR video for the CBT, go check it out. I'll leave it in the description below but otherwise let's get into the video today essentially i'm going to summarize it i'm going to be covering what i didn't manage to cover in the first video these game modes over here shard farming some upgrade things and setting up your controller so in summary i essentially want to talk about all of these new different game modes kind of like what are the rewards why we do it as well as a couple of different like upgrade things that i didn't talk about such as like limit breaking or like overclocking they call it in this game but otherwise i just kind of want to give my general thoughts after playing this over these last few days all right guys i'm going to start off with some gameplay so let's get into some of the challenge wars so let's go into warzone first let me talk about what warzone is warzone is essentially you're grouped into teams for some reason and then you go in and you clear waves and waves of mobs so for example if i was to go into this machine factory you can see here area three i haven't got like the max points if there are max points i'm gonna just pop into it but essentially you can see it's unlimited attempts so you can keep trying and trying until you get like a really good score i'm gonna go into it and show you guys exactly what it is but essentially again it is just like waves of enemies over and over until you time out so i believe it's like two or three minutes so you essentially just have to dumpster these enemies and like try to take as little damage as possible as well as like just trying to push as far as you can in terms of the waves all right we are in the game now and oh man she's so cute she's so cute all right looks like we have two minutes so i'm gonna probably be a bit rusty here because like um i'm trying to play while i'm talking and that never really ends well for me but essentially you can already see right so i'm about to finish the first one after i kill this guy there should be a second wave so let's see there we go wave two and then essentially this goes on and on and on uh i, I don't know what else to say this is essentially the game mode in, in a nutshell and so as you get higher and higher you get more points right and then as you can clear more mobs you also get more points however the other thing that you need to note is that the more hp you have at the end you also get more points so let me just like finish this off and then i will show you guys what exactly we will be counting on or what exactly the points will be counting yeah okay i will see you guys in 54 seconds but there is nothing much more to this like it, it, what you're seeing here is exactly what you're gonna get you're just gonna be going endlessly and hopefully you'll get a nice score well then i'll see you guys in about 38 seconds all right guys and we are finishing up and let's see the final screen which is right here so we've got points tallying and you can see current area three this is just the unlimited one and then you can see here your health the wave reward and the elimination reward so somehow i did better than before and it's going to automatically save that but as you can see the health actually matters a lot because you can see that my current total points is 64k if i had just like kept my health up i would have gained an extra 7k which is quite a fair bit but what's more important is that you can see that there is no max score for elimination reward as well as wave reward so the further you go the higher points you get pretty simple right all right with that being said let's get out of here leave battle and i'm just going to show you guys a little bit around what other things like the ui so here is kind of like where you do your mission so you can see daily unlocks left there are two stages currently so each day you can unlock another one so today i just unlocked this one however tomorrow i'm going to unlock that one and so that means that i'm going to be able to have a higher current total points let's say because there are two stages i'm going to get about two times 94k so my personal total points is going to be about 180 190k all right so if we come back what you're going to see is i'm going to have two team members so what's cool about this is that we actually get a team ranking which is the addition of all of our points that so i've played and i've gotten 94k and somebody else has played and they've gotten some points and together we get 170 79k so if i go into team ranking you'll be able to see that we're actually placed onto a leaderboard so you see we're coming 13th right now i believe these teams and these team points are only for flexing only for like kind of showing off you can already see up here team ranks displayed only no corresponding reward and so as you can tell there is nothing rewarding you like for getting like top one in teams a massive reason for this i suppose is because you know if you like let your team it feels bad when like your team lets you down and you have to tank because of them and what i mean by tank so if i go back you'll see over here promotion 60 of this blue stuff which is a war zone influence so every week when you finish up you go either get promoted or you either defend and so what happens is that the people in promotion they'll get promoted to the next rank up which is let me see where it is all right that's so convoluted so you actually have to click this button over here and so you can see here promotions 1 to 15 place get promoted 16 to 21 are defending so they only retain their current rank so what happens when you get promoted is that you go from backup to recon and so you can see here 
here. It's kind of every other like ranking system. The bottoms get demoted and some people in the middle retain and some people at the top get promoted and then you can keep going and keep going up to elite and then you can't promote anymore because there is nothing any higher. All right, so as you can see, when we promote or if we defend or even if you just participate, you get some of this blue currency. So what exactly can we do with this blue currency? So I'm going to come over to this shop here and show you guys that we can get consciousness, aka memories with this blue currency. It's really nice because a lot of these are actually the top tier end game consciousnesses. So I'm talking like Adolf, I'm talking like Heisen, I'm talking Einsteiner, Darwin, like all of the ones that you really want are actually located in here. So guys, honestly, moral of the story, you guys should be doing the war zone. War zone is unlocked at 4-7, so keep an eye out for it. So down here, we do have missions, but like this is just kind of like your one off kind of thing. I think aside from that, that's kind of like summarizes war zone quite well. In essence, do it when you can and then try to get promoted, get those blue currencies and get some nice consciousness. Says, all right, let's head over to the other mode. So that is going to be phantom pain cage. This one's pretty interesting because this is actually kind of like a boss battle. Well, several boss battles. So you can see here, group alpha, group beta. All it is, is two different bosses, right? What we have is we have the progress challenges today and current ranking. So if I click into one of the bosses, you can see that you actually progress through the boss. However, you only have a set amount of temps every day. As you can see over here, challenges today, one out of three. However, what you can do is you could go in and you could give it a shot. However, if you're not really happy with the score that you get, you could actually just like stop and don't like save it. If you don't save it, it's not going to use up an attempt. However, you do need to use up an attempt to be able to progress to the next one. So for example, if I went through this night stage, but I wasn't happy with the score and I said no, then it wouldn't unlock chaos for me. And so I would still be stuck on night. So there is a condition here where I need to deploy at least, mm, at least <laughs> two constructs. So I need to get into the battle preparations and you can see that there is an AP three out of five here. This AP three out of five just just means that every week I can only use each character five times. However, if I go back, what you see is that there are actually two bosses and each boss has five kind of modes. So then what do you do? You have to build more teams. You guys can already see, right? This is why people are saying like you do need more than one team for Phantom Pain Cage. So I guess there are a couple of different strategies that you could do to like make your way through it. Some of them include like using just two constructs, some of them like using like, you know, the worst ones up front, just kind of like stuff like that. So if I'm just going to go into a stage, I will show you guys what it is. It's exactly what it sounds like. It is a boss fight with this worm thing. And then the other one is just a boss fight with alpha. And then at the end of it, it's kind of the same thing, right? Like if I defeat it or how much time is left and how much HP I have, depending on those things, I will get a different score. And as you can see, the bug is out. And so again, guys, it is really hard to play whilst I am talking. Oh, oh wait, wait a second. Wait, no, I'm going to play with my controller. You can see the timer is going on the top right hand hand corner. I am just going to hack at him and hopefully do my best and we'll see how I go because like, like I said, guys, this is a little bit hard. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting my ass kicked like really bad, Uh, but we are doing okay now. We're doing okay. Okay. What's important here is that you learn like the boss attack patterns because like it's, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same, same. You can attempt it as many times as you want and you could probably save like your best score when you get it. I might be able to actually kill this guy without dying, which is nice because um, you know, I was I was very nervous before and he is virtually dead. And so let's see what the ending screen says. And this was um, this is tough. It's always tough trying to play as well as like explain things at the same time. All right, let's get into this screen. And as you can see, the clear time was five minutes damage dealt. So I did indeed finish the boss. However, the remaining time was really low. So as with the other one, if you can clear faster, you get a higher score. And if you have more remaining HP, you can have a higher score as well. So this is what I mean by saving score or cancelling. You technically have an unlimited amount of tries to get like the best kind of score. So if I hit save score here, it's going to consume one AP from each of my characters. So they're going to be like two out of five. And it's also going to let me like progress to the next stage. It's also going to use up one of my attempts that I got from today. However, if I click save cancel, it's going to use none of that and I can go again. So save cancel. I'm going to show you guys that and you're going to see I can't go into the chaos mode because I need to finish and save the night mode. I still have my one out of three attempts if I attempt to go in, you can see the three out of five. So I'm still Gucci. Okay, I think that's enough for that one. And I'm going to show you guys the shop because it's always about the shop. So as you can see, this is some nice shots. 
as always, most of the time, like you're going to be able to get the B shards and the A shards. So you can see this one's Padma. You can see Liv over here. You can see Bianca. You can see Nanami. You know, it's all here. However, there are a couple of the cooler ones you can see over here, Karenina. These two characters are both my S rank naturals. So that's really nice. But yeah, that's essentially the rewards for the Phantom Pain Cage. And so that's really good because like it gives you like some opportunity to kind of max out your S rank and A rank and B rank characters, especially without the use of the gacha. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly how we get the currency. So we have a score and you can see here I am placing 60th, which is probably the lowest because I'm like really freaking bad right now. And then you see up here, it resets in six days. So this is a weekly thing. If I click up here, ranking rewards, and you can see here which percentile you are in. So honestly, guys, even by just participating, you still get like some level of rewards. The shards are pretty, pretty sweet. So you can see I get 12 of the currency if I stay there and then I can go back to the shop and the shop will charge me a five for one shard. All right, guys, I think that's enough for Phantom Pain Cage as well as Warzone. If you guys have any more questions, do drop it in the comments below. Other than this, I'm going to go back and show you a couple more things. The first thing is memory rescue. So this is just like one of the first clears, like kind of thing there at one time and you get a bunch of stuff. So as you can see, I've completed this one and I looted these guys. So I've completed this one as well. So I'm just going to claim this and you can see I just got the reward as well as getting an extra piece over here. When I finish all of these, I'm going to be able to get this consciousness and then away you go. But that's kind of it for memory rescue. Not too much, not too complex. Next, I'm going to come over to story over here and interlude. It's something that I completely forgot to talk about last time. This is where you can actually farm a lot of your shards. So if you look at this ominous black one, this drops my Padma shards. And this is really awesome because this means that I can limit break or like rank up or evolve, I think, my Lucia Padma. And so she can go from B to A to S to SSS and, and all of that jazz. If I go back, you can see there is an ominous black too, but this one is actually dropping different shards. This is also Lucia. However, it's the Dawn variant. So if you guys don't remember, every single character has kind of like its different variants. So this stage actually gives us shards for the Dawn variant. And so if I have this character and I do want to max her out, then it's right here. Otherwise, these dropped, I believe, 100% of the time. So every day, it means that you can get two. So yeah, if you guys are looking to level them up, consider doing these stages. All right, let's go back to the main menu. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that I missed the first time. So if I go to constructs, actually, whilst we're here, I'm going to show you guys that other Lucia variant. So this is the Lucia Dawn variant. And so you can farm the shards for her. So that's really cool. And so again, if you do like her and you're using her, you can farm the shards for her, which is really, really cool. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So the first is equipped weapons. So you can see there are actually like two blue things over here. So that is actually the amount that I've overclocked. And I'll show you exactly what overclocking is. So I have a weapon and I've leveled it to the max level that it can go 35. So if I click train, you can see here, I can overclock it. It is essentially like your limit breaking. So if I click overclock here, obviously you need a bunch of these mats, but these mats are generally really easy to get. You just need to farm the resources stage. I'm going to click this overclock button and it's going to increase the levels and stats. However, it is going to decrease me back to level one. I do believe that the attack and crit at level one here is still about the same as when it was maxed out like level 25 before. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all and I'm just going to slam the enhance because away we go. And I'm a madman like that. And it looks like we have more overclocks. However, I am out of materials, so I can't do that anymore. Just know that this is another upgrade possibility and I'm going to head over to residence next. Resonance for weapons. What we do here is we sacrifice another weapon of equal grade and let's okay, so I'm going to sacrifice this guy and then let's see what we get. So I'm going to click confirm and then I'm going to click resonate. Resonance materials includes five star or above. Let's freaking go and let's see what we get. That's pretty good. That's actually really freaking good. All right, let me hit confirm on that and we got a sweet resonance. I'm not going to undo that. That's a pretty nice one. You can click into it and do it again to override it. However, let's get out of here. I'm going to click into the next one and show you guys. You guys see this thing up here. It is a five star weapon resonance material. And so you can use this instead of sacrificing another five star weapon. I would probably recommend doing something like this rather than sacking your five star weapons in late game. Maybe you can consider doing it, but like generally you're going to be looking for stuff like this. All right, let me X out of that and let's just freaking sacrifice another one. It's like an hour and a half before CBT ends. Let's just freaking go. Oh baby. I'm going to hit confirm and let's resonate one more time. Let's just do it for the boys. You know, let's do it for the boys. Who's going to use that? Not me. Absolutely not me. And oh, hmm. 
so mint absolutely mint so let me confirm that and wow so speaking of resonance and overclocking you can actually go back and if we go into our consciousnesses i'm going to click into this one and you can see here that her max level is 25 this one is giving all of these stats over here i'm going to click it i'm going to hit train and i'm going to overclock it you can do the exact same thing if i slam that overclock button it's going to reset it and it's going to be able to give me even more stats so i'm just going to select all again enhance again and it's going to be level 30. as you can see i can over overclock it again and on the other hand I can also do resonance on it however I do need these chips otherwise that's kind of it you can enhance overclock and do resonance on both your weapons and your consciousnesses all right let's head back and let's see what else I've missed ah so I didn't manage to show you guys the dorm last time because it wasn't unlocked but it's essentially like you're just like chucking in your chibi characters they all have needs so she wants a little pat or something like that so I'm gonna click onto it and I'm gonna go pat her so I'm gonna do pat oh yeah yeah yeah, you like that? Okay, I'm gonna go back and let's see what Lucia wants. So I'm gonna pat her as well. Oh, she just, I, I guess she just wanted that. That's it. And then I'm gonna go click this Lucia over here. And what does she want? Mmm, what is this? So this is a dorm coin and you can actually use this to purchase other things as well. I know guys, it's looking like a lot of currencies, but like, trust me, it really is not that much. So as you can see, she has a need right now. She wants to be chucked into the refrigerators. And so I'm just gonna do exactly that. Okay, but you kind of get the idea, right? So, you know, you gotta make them happy kind of thing. I don't think there's kind of like a base skills kind of concept. I think you just like manage them. You get the coins and then you spend those coins you know what i'm saying all right so it looks like we're getting more coins here so remember that there is a daily over here and you guys should definitely check in with your little chibis every single day all right let's get out of here and let's go into the shop and i will show you guys what exactly you can buy with these dorm coins so it really is just these guys i want the resident permit because i want more room so i can put more like little girls into it guys i know how that sounded but just daddy chill you guys know what i mean oh my god just give me a break come on guys all right moving on as you can see we can buy a bunch of furniture and throw these bad boys into those rooms so as you can see i can hit unlock over here however i do need five residence permits to do that so it means i need 15 coins so i guess it's just a slow grind you guys already know what it is mm, the last thing i guess i want to talk about is like using the controllers so you can see this guy over here this is a ps4 ds4 controller ds4 stands for dualshock 4 so I've been playing with the controller just because it's like a lot easier on the hands for me. So if I just like get into something, I'll just do another Phantom Hay Cage, I guess. Get into this one and go into here. I just have like some insane pain and I actually do really recommend trying the controller for this. Even if you're, oh my God, even if you're not like a controller kind of dude, you should at least give it a shot because like I do believe that like since they added the controller support, there is some like level of expectation. They're like, well, we did kind of build this game and we had a controller in mind. So, you know, give it a shot. If it's it's your kind of thing then just do it if it's not then don't but like don't let anyone tell you otherwise uh like using a controller doesn't make you less if gamer i personally think it's a lot better for me however i know a lot of people that swear by like wasd and clicking some other people actually use like the mouse for movement and using the keyboard for like skills and stuff and i guess like with that being said i should bring up the downside of using controller and that is like every time you finish a battle you gotta like use your mouse again yeah it's a little bit annoying but like for me like i said it's easier on my hands and my hands are like in a lot of pain. The last thing I wanted to talk about, I guess, is this hidden stage. And so somebody correct me in the comments and yeah, they're right, I was wrong. These are not really like your hard stages. These are more like the stages as if they were played through from the perspective of the bosses or like the enemy. And so it's really interesting because in this one, you play as like the painter boss. And then in the next one, you actually play as this lady over here. And in this one, you play as this bad guy. So no, it's not really a hard mode. If anything, these ones actually might be a little bit easier. So don't worry too much about this one you should be able to three star it pretty easily all right guys i think that's kind of it i don't think there is too much else to show you guys i got pretty far in the cbt i'm pretty happy with where i ended up i got to show you guys phantom pain cage as well as Warzone, and i was able to show you guys the shops as well so i'm pretty sure like i've covered about like 90 percent of the content that's currently available and i do know that this is being wiped so i just don't want to get too attached to it you know all in all my thoughts honestly i am really devastated that this game is about to go offline in about like an hour and a half i really like it i really wish i could keep playing i wish this was like the obt but like you know there is a lot to fix up it's just like small minor stuff like this like equipment when really this equipment should be like down here to form one word but honestly that's like nitpicking so hard generally speaking the game is really polished already you know it's going at 60 fps it's 
playing really, really well. There's nothing like that's entirely game breaking. Like it's so smooth. Everything feels really good to use. This is a game, a product that I would be really proud to actually push out. We are missing a couple of like the quality of life kind of features, but like we can deal with it. But otherwise, yeah. All right, guys, let's wrap up the video there. All right, guys, I got a secret message for you guys. Release the game. Come on, Kuro game. Just release the game already, bro. If you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate that. It means that you've made it to the end of the video and I am really grateful. In addition to that, I did get a lot of feedback from like a lot of like existing CN or TW or JP players. Guys, keep that info coming in. It's really helpful. It helps me. It helps the community and we all really appreciate it. I personally only managed to play till about mid game and so I don't know everything. So thank you in advance for that info. But guys, you guys already know what comes next. If this video was helpful, you found it kind of entertaining, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow, a pin. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.